And if we look at the carousel here uh, under the microscope, you'll see that there is rotation and you see the cage, which is rotating, but it's being done in a different way. With the tourbillon, we had a pinion behind the cage, rotating the cage and all the components and powering the escapement. In the case of the carousel, just as Bonnickson had done in the UK in Coventry when he invented the carousel, we have one powertrain coming to this small wheel that you see by my finger, which is rotating the cage. Now, you'll notice there is no fixed gear with the carousel, and that's characteristic of a carousel. Instead, there is additional power coming via a separate powertrain to power the escapement, which you see here. So, with a tourbillon, there is one powertrain doing everything. With a carousel, there are two powertrains.